Bush's Pet Foods produces wet food in cans, pouches and trays, dried food in the form of biscuits, chilled fresh foods, treats and snacks for your favourite pets. Bush's Pet Foods is a high speed manufacturing environment and so it is important that you understand workplace safety is something we take very seriously. Welcome, my name is Daryl Smith, Group Operations Manager. and It is my pleasure to take you through this part of your introduction to Bush's Pet Food. In this section, you will be advised of employment specific issues I'm Rob Dumont, the Principal of Summerland Christian College. We are delighted to be able to offer, as an interdenominational Christian school in the Lismore local area, a full educational package from kindergarten in primary to year 12 of secondary. Our wonderfully dedicated teaching staff have worked very hard to establish a record for the school, a proven and pleasing track record of well above average results in the public examinations. Our whole aim is to provide for every student a good quality value, values based education within the distinctively Christian ethos of the school. Today we have met Caitlin who is a 17 year old girl who has had a renal transplant. In view of the surgical incision scar, this is consistent with a left forearm arteriovenous fistula that is patent. On inspection of her abdomen, there is a small surgical scar uh, present here and also in the midline. Carrington Centennial Care Village, set amongst a relaxing rural environment, is located at Camden, New South Wales. Located in the grounds of Carrington, among the self-care units and aged care facilities, our cottage-based respite program is available to provide short-term overnight respite to carers of the frail aged and those with dementia living in South West Sydney. I'm Kevin Hamilton, Managing Director of First Logistics Australia and New Zealand. Over the next few moments, we'll talk to you about our company capabilities, both here in Australia and New Zealand, as well as importing requirements into Australia. We're going to aged care, children's ward and the young carers program. I chose to shave my hair to um, support the Leukemia Foundation who, who help uh, to, uh, looking, looking for a cure for leukemia and help families and people who have leukemia um, to help cope, cope with that. And I also wanted to raise awareness of, uh, of cancer in the school. It was said uh, by a man in Gymea that if you want the neighbourhood to know, tell a neighbour. If you want the whole suburb to know, tell the local newspaper. If you want the world to know, tell Raymond Williams. The larger supply there is a full set of Gordon Moyes DVDs. <laughs> of North Sydney Harbour Aquatic Reserve within Australia's largest metropolitan area 
requires the needs of a wide range of stakeholders to be balanced with the necessity to protect a rich biodiversity. Near Marineland on the Clean Up Australia Day, the Dive 10A, and Simon Dakin and Colin Piper cited and photographed a small area of Calerpa taxophilia in Little Manly Cove. The information we have gathered has been passed on to fisheries so that a plan might be devised to limit the spread of what is clearly going to be, in years to come, a problem in Sydney Harbour in general. You guys are kind of careless. Yeah. Well, that'll do. That took a lot of time to get that out, didn't it? <laughs> that was hard work. <laughs> so you guys give your mum and dad's a hand at home. Yeah. And around and stuff. We're tacking them both. Good afternoon, my name is Tina Commander Brent Witt. I'm the commanding officer of Australia's national sail training ship Young Endeavour. It's one of the unique vessels which uh, plies the Australian coast, specifically looking after the youth of Australia. Uh, since the uh, ship has been given to us uh, in, in the bicentennial in 1988, just over 7,000 young Australians have had the opportunity to sail on this magnificent ship. We target the program Adventure Under Sail and every 14 days we embark 24 young Australians, uh, 12 young ladies and 12 young guys for the adventure. One, now. The State Emergency Service is the combat agency for storm and tempest and floods. But we also give a lot of support to the other emergency services and community events. And so the people can enjoy themselves and do things safely. I'd like to thank Paul, Paul who's taken our video today, thank you very much Paul. 